Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Alpha Wisdom. I'm Mystic Cassandria. This is the channel that teaches you how to read palms. If you wanted to know some more information on me, just check below this video on the website, which is alphawisdom.love. All right. Today we're going into lesson 52 and we are moving on. That is, this is something new. We're going to be talking about the hand shapes. There's much to be said, so it's in two parts. Uh, the next video, Lesson 53, will be uh, part two. Today we're focusing on the earth sign as well as the air. And part two goes into water as well as fire. Okay, we'll understand that carefully as we go further. But I digress for a moment. I want to go back to uh, something uh, that I omitted in a discussion of the timeline. I suggest that you use it as much as you can. And I can assure you that the more you work with the timeline, practicing on yourself or with friends or others, the more accurate you will become in determining the years on the palm. I hope it doesn't sound like it's something that's challenging or a little difficult because it's not at all. And the more you do this, you won't need a rule to help you measure. You'll just intuitively know where to go. Your intuition tends to kick in once you are very clear on what you're doing. You understand it. So don't worry about it. It's going to come, but you have to work with it. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that that's added in. Okay, all right, back to lesson 52. Now, we're going to be talking about the hand, the palm part, and the fingers. That's what makes it a shape, comparing the shape to another shape. What's the measurement for the palm? What's the measurement for the fingers? So I have a ruler here, and I'll use myself as an example so you'll know how to measure because the, uh, these, as you look at these photos with the little information given, you will see that the hand may be referred to as broad, and broad means the same as square, or it may be rectangular. Well, the question may come up, or it should come up, how can you tell? And fingers alone, compared to what? Okay, so that's where we are. So I, I'm holding up one palm, this is my left hand, and I have this ruler. We measure from the base of the wrist to the base of the middle finger, which is called Saturn. Okay, let's measure mine. I see four and one half. The measurement comes to four and one half, all right? So I remember that. And then I measure from the base of this finger, that's the Saturn or middle finger, to see what that length is. And that comes out to three and a quarter, three and a fourth, okay? So if this is four and a half and three and a quarter, yes, the fingers are shorter than the palm itself. Now, to determine whether it's rectangular or broad or square, we just measure from side to side. This says three and a half, and we know this is four and a half, so it's an inch difference. This is not square. It has to be less than an inch to be square, because sometimes it will not be even. If this is four and a half, then you may be thinking, well, this should be four and a half as a square. Sometimes it doesn't work quite like that. It may be instead, maybe four and a quarter or four and an eighth, but we're into the four, okay? So I hope that's clear. That's how we measure. All right, so let's get started. Okay, bring this down. Okay, hand shapes. You're looking at the earth hand, and with this one, you see that it's broad. So we can assume now that this palm is square. So these two terms are used interchangeably. The fingers are short, or they are shorter than the palm. All right, 
So some of the characteristics you have, their qualities, cautious, solid, sensible, and traditional. Okay, I'd like to give you a little background information first. In traditional palmistry, the hands come in seven shapes, such as uh, depicting a specific personalities. These seven shapes used to be called elementary, practical, spatula, conic, philosophical, psychic, and mixed. Palmistry evolved, and then the names changed. They became conic, psychic, square, and spatula. Today, palmists associate the shape of the pan with the four earth elements, and they are earth, air, fire, and water. And the characteristics of the hand shape determines the element, all right? Now, some hands do not fall in these categories. They instead feature a combination of one or more of the earth elements. These hands come up with a new uh, name. They're called mixed or combination shapes. So let's find out a little more about the earth shape. The earth hand, of course, is broader square with shorter fingers. People with earth hands are practical, emotionally stable, solid, sensible, level-headed, and tend to be rather traditional. Home is very important to them. They are thoroughly dependable with friends and lovers. They are highly creative people who are ingenious inventors. They are likely to succeed in their chosen career, but tend to follow the lead of others rather than finding success on their own. They tend to be skeptics when it comes to metaphysics or esoteric arts. These are musicians, photographers, movie directors, and nature lovers. They are intuitive, quick, compassionate, could be in the health field, they enjoy luxuries, they're diplomatic, and they are collectors. All right? So that's what we have there. Now let's go right on into our last one. With this one, this is the easiest hand to recognize. Why? Because the long fingers, extremely long fingers, this is the air hand, all right? You see it says broad, and that means it's square. The fingers are very long. Qualities, these are some of the qualities. Contemplative, inquisitive, and intuitive. Okay, a little more information. Uh, the hand shape appears long because it's slender, and the fingers can be smooth in the joints, we call those the knuckles, or they may be knotty. It can go either way. People with air hands are usually clever, dexterous, and maybe carpenters, gardeners, or successful business people. They have an active mentality with a sharp, inquisitive mind. They are restless, easily bored, and need intellectual stimulation and variety. They are idealistic, contemplative, and intuitive. They are forward thinkers and visionaries. They are writers, journalists, and those in media work. Okay? So that goes with part one. I hope you understood that, and I hope you were looking at your palms. And just make it a habit of looking at other palms. On television, just notice the hands. You may not see the palm, but you can see whether the fingers are long. Compare the index finger with the other fingers. Figure on length. Just get accustomed to doing it, and it becomes a habit. You'll just automatically do it. Well, if you enjoyed this lesson, part one of hand shapes, give a thumbs up. And if you haven't decided yet, consider subscribing. I look to that just to see how much you are interested. And I'm, I'm feeling good. You are interested. And I really appreciate it. So thank you again for watching this. Remember to be on the lookout for part two, which, coming, which is coming right away. And uh, have a good day. Stay safe and stay cool. It's getting very hot out there. All right. Take care now.